the sweetest nectar for them. It was this love I received in my earliest days, this one I still have today, that keeps me going. Gladly, I will remember it all. Oh, but just think how I wish you would remember me. But nonetheless, here we are, right? With each other. In that instance, I could only think, how could I go on without you? Would I see you only in a fractal of the glimmering sea? You are my flesh and without you is also a part of me gone. Little did I know I was saved from the very beginning. This journey, each twisted turn, was about finding my way back to you. But you were there, weren't you? It was always you. But the roses with the sharpest thorns may bear the sweetest nectar. I think I've come to know the fruits of life, one of which is undoubtedly you. Surely there are and will be waves of failure that washes us under, but no flower will cease to grow through these storms. I will look the pain in the eyes, but it is the sweetness that I dream of, and sweet it shall be. I wanted to make a book of fragmented stories, which is why I came up with those sentences. I reminisce a lot, and I'm very sentimental, and the first person that came to my head randomly was my grandfather. The one that I speak of a lot and I mention a lot in my work is actually my father's father. The last time I saw him, I didn't know would be the last time. I wish that he could be here with me to experience things, but nonetheless, here we are because I am thinking of him, it's almost like we are with each other. And despite him being gone, I will remember all of my childhood memories spent with him gladly. And the first page, even though my parents divorced really early in my life, I was three or four, even in her absence, um, me longing for her or knowing how much I meant to her, being completely possible to turn out to be someone very different than who I am today and incapable of a lot of the emotion I have today. I think it was the love that I received in these earliest days and that I remember very vividly that still lives in me and is a big part of who I am. When my sister died in my dream very suddenly, just the way I immediately reacted and all the thoughts in my head is exactly expressed here in these words. I just thought, how can I exist on this earth when she does not? I tell her, I feel like she is an extension of me, like she is one of my limbs. This page is about God, and it's almost been a year since I last thought that I really wanted to make a change in my life and I wasn't sure what to do and my mom suggested that I should go back to church and get on that routine just to try things out. So I reconciled my relationship with God. Once I reached out, I was granted this almost instant perspective that I was saved from the very beginning and walking this path, I was never alone. I had to go through the things I did in order to bring me back to exactly the place I should be, to be exactly who I am. I wanted to end this on a more uplifting note, and I correlated the text to the illustration that I made of a rose bush, and it's basically just acknowledging that the worst can also bring the best, and it's not really about picking one or the other or just striving to perfect it so that you can have the best. Um, just because that might seem ideal. My true happiness came out of everything together and it's about experiencing all of it. And for the last page, this bit of text is about the love of my life. He is definitely one of the greatest things that has happened to me and it is just a moment of gratitude that I wanted to include here that through all of the bad, 
this is one really amazing thing and it doesn't matter if there's going to be more storms and more downfalls because there's going to be and that's okay all that matters is that i can focus on the sweetness and i do and so sweet you shall be